हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक आई एम नेहा पर्यानी इन टूडे सेशन वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट ट्रायल बैलेंस सो लेट्स बिगिन ट्रायल बैलेंस लेट्स ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज ट्रायल बैलेंस इन डिटेल ट्रायल बैलेंस इज अ स्टेटमेंट ऑफ द डेबिट एंड क्रेडिट और क्लोजिंग बैलेंसेस ऑफ द लेजर अरेंज्ड इन सेपरेट कॉलम्स so we know that while maintaining the records of the business organization the first step would be recording the transactions right so we record the transaction in the book of prime entry or we also call it as journal right so we make journal entries for all the transactions right after that we post them into ledger that is separate individual accounts for each item in journal so the second step would be ledger okay so after ledger the third step is trial balance so trial balance it is a statement remember it is not an account it is an statement which contains the list of closing balances of the ledger accounts for example so this is the ledger problem which we solved in one of our previous sessions before coming for trial balance first of all you make sure that you are clear with the concept of ledger okay so if you want video on this how to make ledger accounts you can get the link in the description box below so the trial balance is the list of closing balances of the ledger accounts suppose this is an cash account right this is uh, the closing balance is this right so this is carried down balance which with this is closing balance and which we have brought it down right so trial balance is a list of all these closing balances of each account of ledger okay understood the concept remember trial balance is the first step for preparing the financial statements of a company okay so after the preparation of trial balance various accounts and financial statements are prepared like trading and profit and loss account balance sheet etc so trial balance will be very useful for preparing the financial statements of the company okay next let's have a look at the format of trial balance so first of all it is heading trial balance of here you need to mention the name of the company for whom you are preparing the trial balance as it here you need to mention the date okay so format of trial balance is somewhat similar to journal entries okay so you remember the format of journal entries there is no date column but rest of the things are same here you need to mention the uh, name of the accounts so this is particulars column okay this is ledger folio column here this is debit balances and credit balances okay so when you total up all the balances on debit side and on credit side they must tally okay so this is the rule of trial balance they must tally if they tally your trial balance is correct all right so for preparing trial balance there are certain points that you need to remember they are capital liabilities and revenues always recorded on the credit side in the trial balance so if in question there are any capital liabilities or revenues so the name of the account should be record, uh, written in the particulars column then the amount should be recorded on the credit side okay so remember this point this is very helpful for recording the transactions in the trial balance okay capital liabilities and revenues on credit side next assets and expenses are always recorded on the debit side in the trial balance again same the name of the account will be written in the particulars itself but the amount needs to be recorded on the debit side okay so assets and expenses you need to remember both of these things these are very important for recording the transactions right next when both the amount columns are totaled they should be tallied so as i said earlier after recording of all the transactions the next step would be totaling it right so when you total up the amounts the both should tally or they both should match there should be no difference in the trial balance if in case there is a difference in the amount it means that your trial balance is not correct there is certain mistakes in your trial balance okay now the question arises why do we need to prepare the trial balance that is to test the arithmetic accuracy so to test whether there are any mistakes in the in the calculation or not we we need trial balance okay to help in preparing financial statements so as i said earlier this trial balance is the first step in preparation of financial statements it helps in pre preparation of various financial statements for the company okay it serves as base for them 
right next helps in locating errors so if in case there are any errors it will be easily located because the trial balance should tally right if it does not tally it means that there are certain errors we can correct them easily right next it helps in comparison so it always helps in comparison of debit and credit balances of the business organization right now let's have a look at very small example of trial balance okay from the following information prepare a trial balance as on 31st march 2006 so here is the list of closing balances of account directly given to you you just need to mention these name of accounts in the particulars column then mention the amount either on the debit side or on the credit side okay so the first is cash in hand so cash in hand cash is an asset right so while discussing the points to remember we came to know that assets should be recorded on the debit side right because they have debit balance so mention it cash in hand rupees 2300 on the debit side rupees 2300 okay next capital so capital should be recorded on the credit side even this we have discussed right so this is capital right rupees 5000 on the credit side rupees 5000 next sundry debtors again sundry debtors are the assets right assets have debit balance so they needs to be recorded on the debit side rupees 1800 next sundry creditors creditors are our lab liabilities right so these are liabilities liabilities needs to be recorded on the credit side amount is rupees 1300 next purchases so when we purchase certain goods we have to pay amount right so they are treated as our expenses so expenses also needs to be recorded on the debit side even they have debit balance okay so record them on the debit side purchases rupees 800 next insurance so when we take insurance policy we have to pay, pay premium for it right so even this is treated as our expenses so expenses again needs to be recorded on the debit side rupees 1400 insurance 1400 right now recording is done now you need to total it when you total it they both should tally okay so on credit side we have 6300 right on debit side again it is 6300 okay so this is tallied it means that your problem is correct right so remember when you remember this that is capital liabilities and revenues on the credit side and assets and expenses on the debit side it will be very easy for you to solve the problem okay so this was all about the concept of trial balance in my next session, we will discuss certain problems on trial balance. Okay? Okay guys, so this was all about today. If you found this helpful, please hit the like button. Also subscribe to my channel. For any questions and queries, you can ask me in the comment section below. Hope to see you in my next video. Still that happy learning.